Hi. Thank you both for being here. I'm excited to be here with Simon and Michael, two strong advocates for nuclear, who I think might come at some of these issues that we're going to talk about. The International Atomic Energy Agency said that there is, that nuclear is just not enough, uh, attracting enough investment to limit climate change. Um, how, how can nuclear be a solution to climate change if it's not attracting the investment? That's not true in many Asian economies um, where that capital is provided largely at a sovereign level. And in those economies, there's a significant, a significant sovereign commitment to nuclear new build with conventional reactor systems. So the plans in, in, in those fast growing uh, um, uh, economies, China, India, um, in those economies that there is a substantial commitment to nuclear because they understand that if they are to wean themselves off coal, and coal is a, is a by far the largest dominant component of their, of their energy basket, uh, basket, they need something with as much energy muscle as coal. And the only thing that has as much energy muscle as coal uh, is nuclear. What is a very, very important debate, and it has been honest debate, on the use of nuclear power in solving our, our really big, big challenges going forward. One's climate, and the other's energy poverty. Nuclear can play a very, very important role in both of them.